get an idea. Let me go tie a fly. It's warming today. It's very warm. Feels great. Tie a fly and go take it to the pond and catch a fish while the cats nap and the dogs run. Let the dogs run. Born free, as free as the wind blows. <laughs> All right, I'll cut it out. All right, I'm gonna tie a fly. Then we're gonna go down to the pond and catch a fish with it. Yeah, very special fly. All right, pups. Y'all chill out. All right. I got me some brand new earplugs, but I think I'm going to use some used ones. I ruined that thing. Might take that plug down there with me. All right, let's get this camera set up. There's my little teeny tiny tripod. Let's get this camera set up and get to tying a fly. All right, folks, the goal of this particular frog fly. Oh, welcome. Glad to see you here. The goal of this particular frog-like fly is to not be a popper, but be a skimmer. In other words, by mounting the... Let me get these. It starts out with plain old earplugs. These old foam earplugs, which I got a pocket full of them, always. There we go. There's a good one. See, if you mount it this way, is this is the front, it, it'll, it'll, sometimes it'll die, but most time it skitters. That way, you mount it that fo facing forward and it pops a little bit. I'm thinking that this might be the key. The, also, the difference is I'm going to not attach this to the fly. It's going to be like a slip cork. So I'm going to, I'm going to try to get, run this thing through. Try to run it through and then put a, a, a small pipe inside it. See what I've got here. It's going to take a few minutes to get my supplies together. Let me, let me get all that set up and then we'll be right back. All right. Now, one thing about these foam earplugs is they compress, but if you give them a little bit of time, they'll expand back out. So what I've done is I've run that through a needle. And I'm actually gonna, this is gonna be a weedless fly. It's gonna be weedless. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use 15 pound test. Let me see if that's, yeah. I'm gonna use 15 pound test line to make the weed guards on the hook. I think what I'll do is make a double. This stuff is awful soft may not work for a weed guard. It's a little bit soft. Hmm. That might be too soft. Well, let me do some experimenting. Oh, let's see. Which one has the good thread on it? Well, that's good enough. Okay, let me grab a hook and get this thing started. Yeah. I found a better hook for this situation so I took the plain shank number one two this is a number two and replaced it this is a bigger hook I don't know what it is but it's also a different material it's a lighter than a hook with this size but I've had really good luck and this this hook won't rust I don't know what the material is it's probably zinc or something maybe nickel magnesium maybe but I went ahead and re-rigged it. Also, while I was digging through my stuff, I found some interesting things that I'm going to use. Mainly a skirt, spinnerbait skirt. So I think what I'm going to do is put, hmm, where to start? I got several different color feathers, which I'm going to blend together layer them on here yeah I think it'd be best 
trying to figure out what order I should put these on what would look best. I kind of think I kind of think I'm still going to need the appearance of legs out the back. likely to come apart but it's also not likely to last a long time it might I generally don't ask much of my flies beyond a good couple of days if the fish really like it you know I'll make another one it's also surprising how many times when you make a fly the fish don't take to it real well right off the bat but as it gets beat up then they come get it so when they get nice and beat up they work better okay let's put the weed guard in place this this fly is likely to sink let me work this weed guard through here around all this stuff <laughs> I may end up shortening the skirt just a little what the heck is that making that noise got something in the barn with me all right let's pull this well I got enough line on it Sounds like a guinea hen. Probably is. Probably a neighbor's guinea hen. Or it's that mockingbird. Mocking the guineas. Alright. That does not sound like a mockingbird. That one is. Hmm. All kinds of sounds out there. through my earplug and as you noticed it's all scrunched up but that shouldn't matter because it'll straighten right back out as soon as we get it through here it should be able to expand back out there we go. all right we're gonna let it expand on itself a little bit I should have reversed that skirt First one's never quite right. Got plenty of eyeballs. They're dirty. And where's my super glue? Actually, I think my super glue is in the house. Let me go get it. There we go. Gorilla super glue. The good stuff.
Not too bad. I didn't, I didn't mess it up too bad. <laughs> For one fly. Let's not forget this. I've done that too many times. Lost too much super glue because I forget to put the lid on it. Alright. That is one ugly looking fly. Let's see how the fish like it. There you go. Got my sunglasses. Because it's bright and sunny. With clouds. I guess I can walk down there. I think I need to put my boots on. I'll drive. What the heck? Dogs are already down there, I'm sure. Somewhere. Somewhere. Oh, look, the most important thing in life. Duct tape. My truck stinks. Ah, I get so lazy. <laughs> Drive down here. A little toe hurts. Got a corn or something on the inside of it, and it's putting pressure on me. Makes my whole foot hurt. Where them dogs went to? Maybe I'll have a little opportunity to fish without them interrupting. Maybe. Probably not. Fresh beats going all the way to Somerville. Okay, the wind is coming out of the southeast. So I'm going to start by getting the wind below me, behind me. And dogs are going to come find me. I know they will. wet all right here we go we're starting right here all right got a nice little makeshift harness on me hold my camera makes it hands-free we're just going to start right here and move my way down the bank Probably be a miracle if this thing works. It's gonna be a miracle if that weed guard survives the first round. May not need it this year. We poisoned these weeds. There. <laughs> what a wacky looking fly. <laughs> it's a big rascal too, man. Yeah, I'm gonna end up pulling a good portion of that skirt out. Maybe cut the whole thing out. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Let's see. Let's see if they will take a whack at it. Oh, look at that. I hear one. They're they're working the edge. These fish ought to be spawning. So I'll be right in here tight. Weedless didn't work. Well, maybe it did. Cast like a bunch of feathers. Look at that one. I think I need. I think I'm going the wrong direction. <laughs> oh, jeez! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> ah! Okay, they like it. Oh, well, how about that? <laughs> okay they do like it I didn't never set the hook on that fish <laughs> I was not paying close enough attention well okay yeah let's go this way we're gonna hit this spot down here first Should be a, a bass right there. He is. Oh, damn, missed him. Well, they like this. 
they're extra, they're going to be extra extra active too because they're on the beds and it's warm sun keeps going behind the clouds this thing looks like a wounded something or another oh yeah good night look at them situation like that is why it really needs to be weedless so I can drag it right through right through those weeds instead of having to go around them this is definitely a, a springtime fly popper because it it doesn't really sink but it doesn't really float either. It's a slow moving big meal. Yeah, it's working. That weedless portion's working. Wow, look how that head has sucked up the water and expanded. That's oh, a big headed fly. <laughs> so another one pick it up missed him that's three three that have hit it and I missed them that head is twice the size it was when it started <laughs> there is some fish in this little cove comes trouble there come the trouble well the good fishing's over all right stay out of the water stay out of the water punk don't get in my dang fly line well look at it first thing she does see good fishing's over that'll scare him out <laughs> is he <laughs> dang it Dang it, is he? Oh, look at that. And then fish all over in here. Now that dog. God dang it. That's the price you pay. Oh, he's going after my fly. this spot that's for sure your punks ruining my fishing they're not ruining it they're just making it more challenging you like a challenge don't you don't you like a challenge not that much Y'all go away. No. That was a no. Izzy, you go away. You go away. No. Okay. Well, dang it. Dang it. Fish, those fish stayed in there. I'm sure they'll come right back. Maybe I can get them on the return trip. Hopefully the dogs go run off. did a 180 turn around from the other direction all of a sudden 
was coming from that direction now it's coming from back over here almost a 180 feels better though it was getting hot hey get out get out get 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 first time she minded <laughs> Can't have y'all ruining my fishing. I'm gonna make a modification. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice the weed guard and reverse the skirt so that it flares instead of conforms. All right, see how I reversed it? Now it's all puffy. Let's see if that doesn't attract a little more attention. See one real easy modification. Let's just go ahead and bind that head. Tie it down right there. That's a good flare now. Damn it. Dog done gone in front of me and messed up my fishing. I saw something come right out of there. Oh, there he is, there he is, there he is, there he is. Come on, fish. Come on. Wow, that was that was almost immediate. Oop, there was another fish right in front of me. All right, let's see. We ought to get some action now. Yeah, that's a good looking fly now. <laughs> Wind shifted again. Now it's coming pretty much right out of the east. Look at those fish down there. There we go. There we go. Finally, got one to hang on. Oh, that fish is thin. That fish is thin. There you go. Proof of concept. That fish ain't too bad. Just a little thinner than I thought it might be. Good deal. That fish is a pounder. Pound and a half, maybe. That's a bed. Right there, that light spot, that's a bed. Right, folks, let's do it again. my fly a little bit Put that head way down on it now look at that that looks even better look how that fly looks now let me straighten out the skirt a little bit here that head pushed down on there that looks good dang it I ruined it Izzy, come back over here. Come on, y'all go behind me. There we go. Made another modification. I took the earplug off completely. So now it's just a, a skirt and a, a hook with a little bit of feather on it. But it does give me an idea uh, for a fly, it would be oh so simple. All right, thanks for coming. Goodbye. Let's see if I can't do that a few more times. That's literally a spinnerbait skirt tied on a hook that's got a few feathers tied on it. Nothing special. So what I'm kind of thinking is I can get one of those wireless hooks, I mean uh, weedless hooks, that has the, the little wire barb on it and everything, and then simply put a earplug underneath it, turn the, put the skirt on, and then put a, a earplug in front of it. You get two earplugs, that makes the whole thing soft and pliable. But it should be weedless, it'll also be able to move freely. 
I'm gonna go as soon as I get through with this fishing. I'm gonna go make one. There we go. Finally, dog showed up, but they didn't get in the water. So I caught the fish before they spooked it. These fish are definitely thin. See that fish? He's thin, real thin. We've got to get some. We have got to get some shed, shad or minnows or something in here for these fish to forage on. They are thin. All right, there's another one over there. Let's see if we can pick up the second one. I was repositioning and that fish came and got it. A little better than the last one. Always fish about the same size. Well, that was not coming loose. That fish, see now, watch that wound. I don't know if I catch that fish again by that wound. All right, goodbye. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> Okay, well that was a good test. I'm gonna make a couple modifications and maybe go back after dinner. I'm hungry, that time change always messes with me.